Um, for uh, this is a question for all of you. Um, who's your inspiration and like, who keep like who's your idol? Like who keeps you like dancing and singing and stuff? Like your idols. Wow, singing, Kate. Oh, not singing. My dance idol um, is Kelly Abbey. Always has been, always will be. I admire the socks off her, and I remember seeing her for the very first time in Dancing Man Dynamite, and um, just incredible. Mine is David Atkins, and um, and it's because uh, David is the most industrious of his generation of the choreographers. He put his money where his mouth was. He double mortgaged his house to pay us to do a show, which he made a little bit of money off, which he double mortgaged that to pay us to do another show. And while everyone else was sitting around talking about it, David was out there putting his, um, his money on the line to make sure that we were all working. And very interestingly, he had a, a, a group of dancers, and I know this is really daggy, but it was the late 80s. We were called the Electric Legs. I know that's really daggy. But in the Electric Legs was Todd McKenney, Jackie Howard, Kelly Abbey, myself, William Forsyth, Ramonda Ringo from City Dance Company. Like that, that group of people now, essentially, uh, we're sitting in a way, not exclusively, and it never should be, but we're sitting in a way under which we have the position now to be leading the, uh, the industry in a way of commercial dancers that are coming before us. And that, I believe, is because David gathered us, he called us the best dancers in the country, paid us as the best dancers in the country. That gave us the opportunity to set up ourselves Properly, we were getting rehearsal pay. We got uh, we got mortgages and real life, you know. And uh, and so he was pivotal to an entire generation of dancers that are now in an interesting way leading you guys. So he would be my uh, maybe not inspiration, but more of a mentor. Hmm. Wow. Um, yeah, Sarah and I said the same thing. But that's really hard. Um, you know what's interesting for me is maybe because I did start late, but the, the inspiring people to me, and it's always growing, are the creative people. So it's choreographers from like Bob Fosse, Gene Kelly, but it's continually evolving. I am obsessed with finding new choreographers and new material and new inspiration. So now it's gone from like Mia Michaels to incredible people like Ohad Naharin, who is an Israeli choreographer for contemporary dance, who is like a creature from another planet. <laughs> so for me, it's creators and every person on this couch is inspiring to me. Every person in our field that is continually creating and evolving is inspiring to me. So that's for me, an inspiration. Um, very similar to Jason. I, I don't feel like I could pinpoint it to one person because so many people have inspired me. But um, I was lucky enough to work with Franco Dragoon from, that was one of the original directors of Cirque du Soleil. He created O oh, Quidam. He created the Celine Dion show. And watching that man worked, I, I think, actually changed the way I work for the rest of my life. Um, he, the way he saw, there was endless creative possibilities and he just opened that in me to always not take the first choice, not even take the second and the third, but push, push beyond pushing and go for your, I think it was him that said to me, Sarah, your fifth or your sixth choice is perhaps more interesting. I was like, wow. <laughs> okay, and he just, watching him was incredible even though he was the most intimidating man I've ever met. It was just absolutely fascinating. For me, I'm, I'm continually inspired by any choreographer that I work with, whether that be, I've, I've done things with Beja in Switzerland, who's a classical ballet choreographer, William Forsyth, who changed the way ballet was seen and really put a contemporary edge to it. Um, to even working with Tim Amatic and doing his stuff. I find every one of those people who are so passionate about their movement and what they're trying to portray and they, they hand that responsibility over to you and I find that what they believe in is so inspiring and it's, it's a real privilege to be able to make those choreographers' visions come alive. So that's my main inspiration. Um, it's really difficult because I, 
I have a lot of inspiration dance-wise, so, and that's so wide of choreographers and everything, but I think, like, what inspires me so much is people who make change in this country, and A, it's like the people, you know, sitting next to me, and it is your Kelly Abbeys and your David Atkins, and it's your Jason Coleman, Jason Witter, Sarah Bock, do you know what I mean? It's, it's such a... This country needs so much help in this industry, and for all of you that do not know these people, like David Atkins, Kelly Abbey, and all of these names, you go home and you get on Google and you find out everything you know about it. Because in this country, we celebrate international things way too much. And let me tell you something, the talent that, and what has been paved the way generations ago for us to be even in this venue doing this was set a long time ago. Even someone like Jackie Howard inspires me so much with how she changed dance in this country, the whole full-time thing. We would not be experiencing full-time dance if it wasn't for the Howard sisters and what they created. There's so many things from years ago that was set for us to be able to be here and do what we do. So. As young dancers, it's all about research. You need to research who came before you and have respect for the people that made us, allowed us to be here to do what we do. So thank you to all of you. And these are the people that are still paving the way and making you know, courses and amazing schools and amazing, you know, so I'm inspired by all of you.